what is an acceptable drawdown for your training strategy? Now in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can kind of use statistics to predict and project what is an acceptable form of drawdown for your trading strategy. Now to do this, you only need two things, okay? So these two things is actually uh, highlighted here, the green uh, boxes, okay? You need to know uh, how much you're risking, which is uh, easily determined, uh, you know, by yourself, right? You just calculate how much you want to risk per trade and you adopt a, the right position size whenever you trade. So let's say you are buying a euro dollar and you have a stop loss of 30 pips, then you calculate what's the position size for 30 pips stop loss, okay? If you are you know, buying a Kiwi dollar and your stop loss is 60 pips, then you adjust your uh, position size according to uh, 60 pips, right? Uh, if you do not know how to do that, I have a video about that, okay? I even have a lot size calculator tutorial and the indicator, uh, just check that video out. Okay, but in this video, I'm going to assume that you know how to calculate uh, your position size and you know how to risk uh, the same percentage per trade. Okay, that's very important because uh, you don't want to be risking, you know, 5% per trade, 2% another trade, 1% the other trade. Okay, you want to keep this uh, percentage fixed. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to assume that uh, you are a bit more aggressive and you are risking 3% per trade. Okay, that means that uh, if you put in $1,000, let's say your account has $1,000, then uh, 3% is $30. Means each trade you are risking $30. If you are wrong, you lose $30, okay? That's straightforward. Now, the other factor that you need is you need to know your win rate, okay? Your win rate is actually very easy to determine, okay? If you are not really recording your trading journal, you want to make sure that uh, you record your trading journal, okay? If you haven't, the easy way to get your win rate is actually to pull out your brokerage statement. Okay, it will tell you your probability of winning and you just want to plug that number and you put it in here. Okay, so for this example, let's assume that uh, you have a 60% win rate. Okay, so before I go on, I want to explain to you why it's so important to use this calculator, why you need to understand this calculator and how it helps you in your trading psychology. Okay, losses are part of trading. You should already know that. Okay, there's no such thing as 100% win, okay? In fact, uh, I have a challenge for you, right? I want you to try to lose 100% of the time, okay? If you can lose 100% of the time, then uh, I'll be willing to fund my own money into your account, okay? If you can lose 100% of the time, okay? But chances are, okay, not, not really chances are, but it's a fact that you will not be able to lose 100% of the time, okay? So if you cannot lose 100% of the time, what makes you think you can win 100% of the time? Okay, you're not being realistic, right? So this calculator will show you what is uh, realistic based on your risk and your win rate, okay? So it will kind of uh, tame your psychology. It will cycle you that, uh, okay, a series of losses is normal. And at what point, right? At what point, how many consecutive losses in a row it's to be expected, uh, you know, when I trade, right? When you understand this, right, you will be more, you know, uh, you'll be more careful in your risk management, right? And you also would not have uh, unrealistic expectations about trading, okay? If you get four losses in a row, or if, let's say, our signals have four losses in a row, you're not going to freak out because you know that, okay, statistically, this is, uh, this is acceptable, right? This will happen, right? This is just part of trading, okay? This is in line with my statistics uh, calculator. I did my prediction. It's normal. I accept the risk, and I'm going to follow it, Okay? So let's, let's talk about uh, the crux of today's video. So it's very easy. You put in the percentage and the win rate over here. Okay, uh, this entire uh, Excel has a formula uh, input already, but I just want you to focus on this entire table over here. Okay, so the way you read it is uh, losses in, a, in, in row, meaning that you have one loss in a row, you have two consecutive losses, you have three consecutive losses, four consecutive losses, and so on. Means that you, you buy, 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 and you lose, 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 lose. That's consecutive losses. So if you have five consecutive losses, means that the previous five trades that you took were losses. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, your max DD means uh, your maximum drawdown. So uh, if you are risking 3%, then of course uh, 3%, then your first trade, your account will be down 3%. Now, your second trade, your account will not be down 6% because when your equity drops and you are risking the fixed percent, which is 3% of your account, uh, your position size will drop. That's why you realize that uh, your, your maximum drawdown doesn't go from 3 to 6 to 9. It, it's, it's a bit lesser, right? Because each time you lose money, your account grows smaller. And when your account is smaller, your position size will be smaller, okay? So this is also very good to... Uh, 
kind of be on the defensive when you are not trading well, it slowly uh, you know, cut back your position size, right? Your equity will drop, so your position size will drop, okay? So you can see 3%, 5.9, 8.7, 11.47, .7, and so on and so forth, okay? So uh, this one, nothing much to say, but uh, here's where I want you to focus on. This portion is very important, okay? So what does the probability of it occurring mean? That means what's the likelihood of you experiencing uh, this, this, uh, this instance, right? What's the probability of you losing one time, right? Lo having uh, a single loss. That's 40%. It's pretty straightforward because if your win rate is 60%, that means that your probability of losing is 40%, right? Straightforward. But how about two trades, okay? Means two consecutive losses. You can see that uh, it's not a simple match in a sense that it's not just, you know, times two or divided by two. That is a calculation, okay? You can see the formula, formula here, okay? Now, this is not a statistics class, so I'm not going to go into a formula, but I want you to just understand that uh, if you look at all these numbers, 16% is a very high probability of you uh, having two consecutive losses. 6.42, 1, 0 0.4, 0 0.16, 0 0.06, okay? So what does this mean? It means that uh, if we just use, uh, for example, 1%, probability of happening, which is a pretty common. 1% is like out of every 100 times, one time this will happen, okay? It means you have five consecutive losses, okay? So if you know that, okay, it's very normal for me to experience up to 5% because uh, I think a good form of reference would be 1% uh, probability of occurrence means that uh, you look for... Um, a series of trades whenever you have a consecutive losses up to 1%. You use this as a threshold. I think this is a good threshold. Okay, it's, uh, it's not based on any statistics. It's just based on a, a number that I like. I like to think that um, out of, you know, 100 times, if one time it happens, which is 1%, I think it's a fair, uh, it's a fair number. Okay, so if you see that, uh, you know, 5, right, you see over here based on this percent and this win rate, you have 1% over here then you should naturally expect that, uh, hey, look, my strategy uh, can have, you know, a 5% consecutive loss, okay? It's normal. I expect it, okay? You, it's, not, it's not shocking anymore. You shouldn't be shocked that, oh, why is it that, you know, I have five losses in a row? Am I doing something wrong? Because this is within the parameters uh, of the trading system, right? You can see it over here. It, it gives you a very good guidance that, okay, if I have five losses, it's not a big deal, okay? But it also tells me that, you know, after five losses, if, you know, the streak keeps carrying on, in this case, it keeps carrying on, okay? Then I want to be careful. I want to observe and say, hey, something seems to be wrong. Um, this shouldn't be happening. Why am I having six losses in a row? Why am I having seven losses in a row? Why am I having eight losses? That's when you want to start, you know, like scrutinizing your strategy. Did I change something? Did the market condition change? Right? That's when you want to start evaluating. Okay? Again, this is just a rule of thumb, right? Look for the 1%. Right, probability of it occurring 1% or about 1 in about 100, in this case, is 97.66, okay? Because it, you, you, shouldn't, you, know, you shouldn't have the probability of uh, occurring be, be you know, so, so big in a sense that you shouldn't, just because of two consecutive trades, losses, when it's pretty expected, and then you say this trading strategy doesn't work, this sort of signal provider doesn't work, okay? That's not the way you do it. You want to take your emotions out of the equation. You want to look at the statistics and you want to make a good informed decision about whether something is working for you or something is not working for you, okay? So in this case, you'll focus here, okay? So before I end off, I also want to play with the numbers, okay? Let's, let's uh, simulate because a 60% win rate for most people, it's uh, not achievable because most people are not that accurate, okay? Our, our hit rate for our signal is about 65%, okay? But let's say you are new and, you know, uh, your, your win rate is 33%, right? 33%. And yes, uh, you still can make money with 33% if your risk to reward Sorry, if your reward to risk is high, meaning that for every dollar you, uh, you, 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 you put in, you make more than a dollar, right? You need to have high risk to reward, okay? So that's also a lesson on its own, right? To always look for the, uh, always make sure that you maximize your reward and minimize your risk, okay? So if you have a win, win rate of just 33%, which is 
pretty low to be honest, but it's pretty normal for new traders, right? Then you could see that, uh, you know, somewhere around here, 11 consecutive trades, then you get probability of occurrence uh, ele uh, is 1.22, right? On the 11 trade. So what does this mean? This means that you should expect to have 11 trades of consecutive lose losers. I mean, that sounds tough to manage psychologically because imagine, imagine trade after trade, you keep losing money. But this is just a reality of uh, the statistics, right? The statistics says that it's very probable, right? It's very probable for you. Even look at the six consecutive loss, there's almost a 10% chance that your strategy will result in a loss, right? So you want to make sure that you use this calculator. You want to make sure that uh, you tame your psychology. You want to uh, adjust adjust your expectations. You don't want to expect that everything, you know, is 100% win. In fact, uh, earlier on this video, I talked about uh, how you can't even lose 100% of the time, right? So in this case, you want to uh, look at uh, this, input your own numbers, okay? For us, as I said, it's about 65%, okay? So for us, uh, if you are using our signals, then ideally, you shouldn't want to see more than about four consecutive trade of losses. Okay, uh, this is just a very rough guide. So if you start to see that, you know, our trades have five, six, seven, eight consecutive loss, then you might want to uh, evaluate our signals, whether it's right for you. Okay, and so one more thing to note is that uh, sometimes in our signals, we cut our trades fast, means we cut our losses very fast. So what happens is that the, uh, the win rate might go down, but the actual loss in terms of percentage, the drop drawdown is very little because you know we see that we are wrong, we cut it fast. And that's also a key to trading, the ability to cut your losses fast when you are wrong. Okay. But if you are new, I don't want to you know confuse you, right? You just use this as a general guide that look, that say look, okay, uh, my hit rate is X amount, I put it in here. Um my hit rate is 33% and you know, I can expect to you know, have 11 consecutive loss. And because I can expect to have 11 consecutive loss, I'm not going to be stupid. I'm not going to risk my entire account on a single trade because I know that in the long, term, long run, I'm going to encounter a series of losses and I want to be in the game. So I will not risk my trading account, my entire trading account for one trade. I will not even risk 10% of my account for one trade because I know that 10 consecutive trades is a probability. And if I risk 10% per trade, I can wipe up my account. Okay, so that's how you use it. And that's how you train your psychology. Okay, so I think I'll, I'll put uh, this spreadsheet in a Google Drive and I'll leave the uh, download link in the description as well so that you can download it. Okay, uh, in the description, I also have a free day trading guide for you. If you are new to our channel, make sure you download that free trading guide. It'll get you started. It's a strategy that we use, um, but I'm not saying that it will work for you because, uh, you know, of course, it requires experience and everything else. I cannot guarantee your success, but it is a good place to start, okay? So make sure you download that. Hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to address it, okay? If not, I'll see you in the next video.